I'm gonna be super quick. Just Don't, do not go back there. Do not with you. Can you? I mean, I guess I could walk up. Just piss literally, right. you can't I'll just can't. piss. I'll Dude, piss right here, guys. Sean, no, no. I'll piss. No, this is. I got to know Nina, and she's a fucking solid girl. This video is Sean Strickland at his very best or worst. Heads up, it gets better the longer it goes on. Watch until the end. Right Enjoy. Here, okay? That's what he does. This is our, this is our gay assistant, by the way, too. Yeah. Are you gay? Uh, yeah. He's he's gay as it gets. Oh yeah. I've always I've always wondered about the gays. Who decides who to? Like when you when you're f your boyfriend, is it? Do you guys like take turns? You switch off? Oh, so you're not gay. I don't have a boyfriend, no. But you are gay. Yeah, I guess. The but thing he, about the thing about that him though is like he's actually like he's like a cool gay guy. Like, dude, most gay guys I meet are cool. Lesbians hate me, man. I look like the guy that they, they think I'm the guy that abuses him. I'm not the guy. I know I got a shaved head and I wear boots, but I'm not the fucking guy. I'm not your dad. I'm not whoever the fuck, you know. I'm not I'm not the guy that hurts you. But yeah, man, I, I support your lifestyle, dude, and I hope you fuck a lot of dudes and don't get AIDS. That is true. Let me tell you one thing. Hate to me is my natural go-to. Like I. My nickname was Sean the Hate Strickland. Like, hate to me, you guys, is my natural state. I love to hate shit. I love to hate someone with such a passion that you want to fucking take a knife and just fucking cut through their throat. It feels so fucking good to hate somebody. Doing that. Thank you for honoring the fans and what they want, you guys. And last thing before I go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Smo. <laughs> I got a little bit too close there. Anyways, last thing before I go, you guys, you guys are fucking awesome. I love you guys. You guys, you guys love me when I get knocked out. You love me when I win. You love me when I offend Helen. You love me when I insult Smo. And I love you for that, you fucking deranged bastards. God damn it, I drank the wrong cup. Yeah, hey, I've drank a lot of piss before, <laughs> you guys. I've drank a lot of piss. You know it's a fucked up story. <laughs> oh my god. It's so gross. It makes you want to throw up just thinking about it. it makes you want to throw up just thinking about it. So why do you day, keep pissing in cups and putting the cat no, back on? No, let me Sean just pee. <laughs> me it, like it's just. Oh, I'm dude, gonna throw up. You could fucking piss. Like uh, honestly, like you just. So, why do you keep pissing in cups? So it's fucking gross. So one day I was doing. We were riding or I was working on something. It was fucking hot. Oh. It was hot. And I walked into my brother's uh, room and I'm like, I'm like just sweating. And my brother, and he didn't do this intentionally. He didn't do this intentionally. Oh my god. He's like, oh, I have I have a Gatorade in the refrigerator. Oh my god. The yellow Gatorade. Don't ever trust the yellow Gatorade. <laughs> oh my god, that's Anyways, so disgusting. So I'm like, I'm like dying of thirst, and I grab the yellow Gatorade out of the refrigerator. And I open it and I just take the biggest <laughs> fing gulp of my brother's piss. <laughs> to this day. Oh my god, it's fun. To this day, guys, I still can't drink and you have a Gatorade all the level of piss. <coughs> but so what he did is he had it next to his nightstand, he pissed in it, and his wife did the good thing and put it back in the refrigerator. So it was unknowingly. Oh my god, that's so but, gross. Well, I think we've all drank piss one day or another. You know. Oh my god. I right, continue. I mean, I got a piss. Would you like to try some? Dude. Why didn't you go to the bathroom if it was obviously it was in your house? The cup was in your house. Why didn't you go to the bathroom? Well, if no. It was, if someone said, oh, you know what? Here's yellow Gatorade. Let me put it in the fridge. You're clearing the fucking house. Why didn't you use the toilet? <laughs> Why did you have to piss in the cup? Why didn't you use the toilet? What? Your boyfriend doesn't have a piss bottle? No. <laughs> no. There's no bottle of piss. There's no piss bottle. Having it done in a fanny pack is fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> nah, motherfucker. <laughs> How long was his back in that cage for? Well, it's close because well, you're right. I'm just saying. Where's your fucking urgency? <laughs> well, you did this, Sean. Huh? I don't want to, but you want to go again? I'm not even trying to get up. Jiu no jiu jitsu, wrestle, motherfucker. Bro, get the fuck up. You've been on the ground for a minute. Let's go. I didn't give him my back. You took my back. I don't give a fuck. Break down this. I like Coach Sean. Uh, here's the thing, you guys. 
I, sorry, I don't want to go this way, Smell, watch out. I'm not trying to thrust towards Helen's way, I'll thrust towards the cage way. I'm a little fat, you guys. I mean, my conditioning's impeccable. I could fucking go all day long, all fucking night long, all morning long, multiple times a night. You guys get the fucking point. But the bad, fact of the matter is, I'm a little fat, all right? Yeah, I'm a little fat. I'm not eating cupcakes, though. That's, that's I'm not doing cupcakes. Well, speaking of something that's good coming up. I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to come out. I'm going to fucking put my hands up like a fucking man. I'm going to punch him in the face. He's going to say, oh, shit. He's going to try to dry hump my fucking leg. I'm going to shove him down. I'm going to say, get the fuck up. And we're going to fight for five rounds. That's what's going to happen. Could be a compliment to America, though, right? We're all a bunch of fucking pussies. All right. We're not fucking done. Let's sack up. Get on the mat. Don't act like a woman. There's not many. You know the people bleach their ass too. Yeah, no, I know that. I know that, yeah. 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 Have you ever been having sex? This is a question for guys. And then like, you'll be having sex, right? And then maybe you'll be like, at a hotel with like a mirror. And like, it always makes me laugh because like, you go to a hotel <laughs> and there's like one mirror and like, uh -huh. like, what else would that be besides a f mirror? Like, you know? Well, I mean, like, to get dressed in the morning. Or, so, anyways, you know? you'll be in a certain position. You'll be like, just fucking getting it, and then you'll look backwards in the f mirror, and you just got your fucking balls <laughs> just fucking dangling. And you got the hairy ass, and it's just like, dude, like. Are you looking at yourself in the f mirror? Well, it's like, it's like most men don't see each other from the back. Like, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys, you guys understand. There's you don't one, turn around in the mirror? Like, like one, of the, one of the best views on a woman is that, like, nice little back You know what I'm saying? You guys understand this, yeah, you know? It's like that nice little back So back, you know, like, the, like the ass crack? Yeah, like, no, it's like when a woman's bend over and you got that nice little back right? Okay, okay. So, but the but it doesn't work like that way with men. Oh, you guys don't have a back So when you're, when you're hitting it, well, right? I mean, you could if you And you're in a hotel and you look back and you see the mirror and you got your big old hairy ass and your fucking balls just <laughs> sagging it's just like it's not a view you want to see so like the male back is just the nut sack just fucking dangling just fucking like a dangling but yeah anyways you guys it's not a good view so you know if you're gonna be fucking by the mirror you just gotta make sure to be just turn around <laughs> turn around just turn yeah around. <laughs> i continue the right things you grab it i'm not saying you gotta jerk off to it guys but that's what you want to do when you kill something <laughs> You can jerk off to. That's not my cup of tea. I don't like to kill shit, but hey, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. I mean, sometimes it feels nice to stab things. You know, I've never stabbed a person yet, but one day. When it's justified. Well, you know what? Justification really is a, that's a fickle thing, you know? It depends on the witnesses. Oh, you wanted to speak a little Cantonese. Oh, so. shit. Let's do it. Lay ho. Oh, I do like I do like the lay hose. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that, is that good, lay hose? <laughs> I'm sure you guys like that word as well. What does it mean? Lay ho means hello. Oh, okay. So that was that his uh, was that Smo's first line when he met you. Hey, Helen, <laughs> lay ho. <laughs> All right, we're going away from the Cantonese guys. My name's not fucking Izzy, okay? Well, I know all your fans are excited for it. Well, you picked that word. Did you pick that word because it sounded like that? Or were you just kind of like spitballing that one? Like, did you have any thought in your mind that it sounds a little borderline sexual? I mean, in Cantonese, it doesn't. Oh, in Cantonese. That's what they all say. So, you know, unlike, unlike Dreykus, who's probably a smarter man, the true African he is, I am not. You f***ing pay me, we'll fight right here. Is it the LeBron James money or how much? I mean, it's UFC money. It's never LeBron James money, guys. We're in the UFC. We're talking about like, you know, I might be able to put a new lift kit on my truck money. Like, I might be able to upgrade my high-end accent to like, you know. A Sonata? I don't know. Maybe maybe like a Ford like Mustang or some <laughs> car. Those but, are cool. Yeah. I had one. Oh, of course you had one. Look at you. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, you guys. I understand you, Dreykus. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on you. I know, I know you and Izzy have some personal issues with, you know, you being African and him being Chinese and him not happy about that. But I understand you. But I'm the man. I will fucking do it. Pay me money and I'll fight him for an hour straight.
Or at least till somebody wakes up or goes to sleep. Fucking guys who, who can't box, wrestlers, like Jake Paul, I would, for five million, I would fight you to the fucking death. I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm being 100% serious. I would go to a deserted island with you today and fight you to the death for five million. But here's the thing about you, Jake Paul. You're a fucking coward. You're a little bitch. You're the, you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the millennial YouTube generation. You just do shit for attention. You're a weak fuck, man. And you're going to continue to be a weak fuck and make a shit ton of money. That I respect you for, but I also fuck. Thinking about Luke Rockhold, it's, he's just a fucking bitch. Like, he's so pathetic. Like, we all know that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, me and Luke Rockhold go in a bar. He's going to pull every chick there is. So, like, I give him that benefit. But besides being a good-looking guy, he's a fucking coward. He has no heart. He has no soul. I don't know how he got in a, a belt in the UFC. I don't know how lucky you have to get. I only said yes to you, Luke, because you were an easy payday. I sparred you, and you fucking suck. You're a little bitch. I hit you one time, and you walk off the mat. The only reason why I'm mad that you didn't fight me is because you took my easy payday, and you walked away with it. So, anyways, fuck you, Luke. We were wrestling. We were fucking wrestling. I'm gonna get up for this. Oh boy. And after 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 he was like, you know, he's like yeah. against the wall, mm -hmm. he's like, Sean, mm -hmm. like let me show you the single leg I learned in college. He, mm -hmm. he's a UFC fighter. But he has three legs. And his fing dick is like down here and he like he wants, he wants me to get up on his <laughs> leg. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, like I just cannot like I can't do what you're asking for me. I'm he not gonna to I'm not you. gonna put my head against your dick. like He's so used to it, he didn't realize what he was yeah, asking. Yeah, so what I'm saying, you guys, more of the story is, for you small guys, man, one, it sucks, you know, I've been that club, and two, wear a fucking cup. No wear one cup. wants to get slapped in the fucking face with a No. Oh, is there one more thing in the bag? Hi. <laughs> try, try it. I don't know if I want to, man. All right, all right, let me get this. You told me you have a foot fetish. I don't know fucking no. No, I don't have a foot fetish. I mean, have I sucked on a few toes here and there? Yeah, but I mean, it's more of just like, why not try some shit? It's not something I want to do. I mean, you ever had your toes sucked on? No comment. Is Smo ever sucked on your toes? Try the chicken feet. That's a Smo's. You're talking about foot fetish. I bet toe, Smo is all up on these little Chinese toes. I bet Smo eats her toes like I'm going to eat this chicken feet. Oh, my God. There's fucking bones in it. How do you eat it? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I've ate a lot. Of, I've ate a lot of gross things. A lot of gross things. And this is going on top. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. You win. Help. You, you enjoy that? Is that something you like to eat? Oh, yeah. It's really good. It's good for you, yeah. too. I understand in, in China, sometimes it's hard to get food. But this is America, you guys. This is a... Topic thrust this way. This is the land of the free. I eat McDonald's and fucking cheeseburgers. This is, this is what poor people eat. All right, I am past that now. I made money my last fight. I, I eat in and out like once a week, man. That's like fourteen dollars in and out. You guys need to fucking sponsor me with how much I eat there now. So, anyways, you guys, yeah, I don't fuck with this. Yeah, and, and, and a drink. Few weeks. Show this man. Ooh. Show this man. Show this man. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, go ahead, go ahead, come on. All right, talk to the schmo for a second. Just did some sparring with Joaquin Buckley. How'd that go? Buckley's a good dude. He's a good dude. I mean, he should be a welterweight. I had a big hard dick today. I went a little bit too hard. He looked like everybody's uncle. <laughs> My dick was a little too hard today, Buckley, but you're a stand-up guy, man. I like you. You're a solid guy. You wash arounds. How'd they go? They went pretty well, but talk to the schmo for a second. What's your next fight going to be? Is it going to be Paulo Costa? He wants to fight you. So, facts. I offered to get a translator. I offered to get someone that could read to give to Costa, but the man's not down to fight. I want to do the fucking man dance, Costa. I want to put you on your fucking knees like Izzy did. I want to get behind you. I want to fucking mount you. But you just got to say yes. You got to side on the dotted line, Mr. Costa. Hey, and do me a favor, Miss Wait, so I can get fucking paid. <laughs> hey, real talk, bro. This is the first time I've drank in, since like elementary school.